Today we're going to be teaching the kids how to recreate artwork um, inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. That's my youngest. Um, we're going to be doing up close flowers, and instead of using watercolors or paint, we're going to be using washable Crayola markers with water over top. That creates a really fun watercolor technique that they will enjoy. This is the work by Georgia O'Keeffe. She was known for doing up close images of flowers. Okay. To make an up close rose, what I would do is we're starting and we're kind of doing a loose triangle swirl. Okay, after that part, you're going to take another color and go a little bit out and make a squiggly petal. And you're not gonna go all the way around. You're just gonna kind of do what feels right. You can squiggle it a lot, you can squiggle it a little, but then thicken it up because when we add water to that, it's gonna turn it into some paint. Georgia yeah. O'Keeffe was a modernist painter, so that basically means she did modern interpretations of what she was painting. Just make sure your lines are nice and thick. So this one's gonna kinda be like an inside of a, maybe a lily. Um, so it's going to be vertical, up and down, and we're going to do something like that. Yeah, make a shape. Have the kids make a shape. Basically just going to sort of loosely outline it. And that's going to end up looking like a new outline. Very cool. water and a soft paintbrush and you're going to start in the middle and just gently um, paint and then it holds the color of the marker and the ink from the marker towards the middle. When you're done with one color, wash off your brush and move on to the other one. This is why you definitely want to have the kids um, thicken those marker lines because if you have scraggly marker lines it doesn't blend as much. I think there's just not enough. This would be easier on a flat surface. Um, there's not enough of the ink to spread around if you use two thin of marker lines. I love how she left some of the white, and you can see the colors bleeding together. And Rowan, your color choice was beautiful. Did you like to do this? Yeah. I love how you added some of that brown. Very easy for all ages. These are the way mine turned out. It was a little difficult doing it on my door. So I think that there's really no way that you can go wrong with this project. We had a kindergartner and a second grader doing it here today. Yeah, make sure you have good juicy new markers and nice thick lines. That's the only thing. Um, and it worked out really well. Have fun, bye.